What's up YouTube? This is Print Practical. Today we have a video that might be interesting to any of you home DIYers out there. I came across a cool Instagram video where somebody at a trade show was showing off their product in which it was a plastic piece that would go over a wire or like a wire joint that you soldered and you could inject hot glue into this mold and create a protective coat or layer around this solder joint. And I thought, why can't we do this with a 3D printer at our house? So I'm not really sure if this is gonna work. So I have a Arduino wire here because I just have a ton of these laying around. And the first goal is to create a mold that I can just inject a cylindrical tube around the wire that I could potentially do that over a solder joint. But before I go and just solder a wire to see if it works, I wanna make sure that the concept works. So just to give a little context, I have zero experience with any type of injection molding. So don't take what I'm saying as the truth. I'm just doing an experiment here. And to prevent any type of flashing, I'm going to clamp down the mold with these C-clamps, get these at Harbor Freight for super cheap. Uh-oh, I don't see anything coming out. Oh, but it's coming out this way. Oh boy. So it's been about two minutes and I'm hoping that the hot glue has solidified. So let me try and open the mold here. Oh. Oh boy, that's not as easy as I was hoping. Oh man, that is tough. Okay, so that is not a success. What happened here is the hot glue stuck to the plastic way more than it stuck to the wire. So I can actually probably just pull this wire right out of the mold. And now the mold is just ruined with hot glue. Okay, we are back. We got our same wire again. We have a fresh mold. In this bowl here, I have some vegetable oil. Since that was the only lubricating oil I could find this quickly, we'll see if this improves the situation that we have here. The wire is in the mold. Let's try injecting this. All right, both the clamps are tight. Let's do the injection. All right, it's been a few minutes. I think it's time to pop the mold open, see what the deal is. Let's hope that it's easier to get this mold up. Oh yeah, that corner's popping so much easier already. Oh yeah. Oh, very easy to pop off. I hope that it's solid. All right, so I would call this a medium success. Let me get a close-up shot to show you what we got. As you can see, the mold came out very clean and there's only a little bit of leftover residue of the hot glue in there. I should be able to just scrape that out with a screwdriver. So this is what the mold looks like on the wire. This is the injection point here. These were the two air reliefs. So I could easily trim those off with a pair of snips. It's hard to see, but I kind of tore it a little bit when I was pulling it out. But I think this proves that, you know, this is possible. So, I mean, this looks fantastic. Okay, so I have a cup of salt water here just to make sure that it is very conductive. And I'm going to test if I put both probes into the water, I get a resistance. So there is a connection there. So I should be able to take this wire now and dunk the connection into the water. If I put one probe on one end of the wire and another probe in the water, I am not getting a resistance, which means that there is not a connection, which means that that is a waterproof seal. So I'm going to give this about 10 minutes and let it soak in the water to see if the results change. All right, it's 10 minutes later and let's see what the deal is. Uh, the wire has been soaking the whole time. Still get a resistance when we touch the water with both probes. We got one probe on one end of the wire. 
other probe in the water, nothing. So I'm going to have to say that is a waterproof seal and that is very cool. So I'm going to try my first real life use case with this type of method. I have a iPhone cable that I use in my car that has gotten super frayed and beat up over the years. And I'm going to see if I could repair this with an overmold to keep this thing going. So I went on Fusion, I modeled the iPhone cable and the repair that I want to make, and then I made a mold of that. So we're going to clamp this down and inject some glue and hopefully fix this cable so I can get a few years out of it. Get a little vegetable oil on the fingers here. And just get them in all the cracks and crevices. Side of the sprue hole, side of the air reliefs. Same thing on this side. All right, here we go. All right, let's try and pop the mold off this iPhone cable. I went a little wild with the hot glue but I'm hoping that comes off me. Oh, come on. That looks beautiful. That looks beautiful. This turned out incredible. The mold literally came out perfect. And this cable is now strong as ever, ready to go back in my car. So that's going to wrap it up for this one. Uh, I'm very shocked with the results. I mean, this iPhone cable came out amazing. Uh, I think that this is very cool. If you're doing some home projects and you need to make a connection water safe or, you know, you need to fix a wire or something, uh, add a little bit of strength, this is a perfect solution. Uh, like I said, all the molds are printed in PETG. I was using vegetable oil as a lubricant. Um, and just a normal hot glue gun that I got on Amazon for like 10 bucks. And this is super cool. So if you have any comments about it, leave them down below. If you want to learn how to make a mold like I've made for all of these different tests, let me know if there's enough interest. I can make a video on how to draw one of those in Fusion. And thanks for watching.